Welcome. Welcome to the 35th Annual Christmas Crush Exhibit. My name is Marguerite Gong Hancock, and I have the honor of serving as one of the leaders of the exhibit. And it's so joyful to be back in person after two years of, uh, actually three years, uh, from not being able to be in person. I hope you're feeling the joy of being back together in person and gathering together and seeing each other and seeing the nativities up close and in person. And there's nothing like live music. And so we're thrilled that tonight is our first concert of this year's crush season. This is an exhibit that's put, in, put on by the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as part of a celebration of the birth of Jesus Christ. These are the Redwood Ringers Handbell Choir, founded in 2008. They are ringers from throughout the Bay, San Francisco Bay Area. There are 10 ringers here tonight, and they are led by the founder of the group and director, Marilyn Hansen. Please join me in giving a very warm welcome to the Redwood Ringers Handbell Choir. Bring a torch, Jeanette Isabella. Bring a torch, come swiftly and run. Christ is born, tell the folk of the village. Jesus is sleeping in his cradle. Beautiful is the mother, beautiful is her son. It is wrong when the child is sleeping. It is wrong to talk so loud. Silence now as you gather around, lest your noise should waken Jesus. Hush, see how he slumbers. Hush, see how fast he sleeps. Child Born of Mary is a modern arrangement of the traditional 16th, Scot 16th century Scottish carol, Baloo Lammy, arranged by Scotsman Malcolm Wilson. Baloo Lammy is a cradle song about the blessed bairn, 
which is Scottish for child. Balu means hush, and Lammy is a diminutive of lamb. So Balu Lammy means hush, my little lamb. This day to you is born a child of Mary meek, the virgin mild. That blessed bairn, so loving and kind, shall now, rejo shall now rejoice both heart and mind. Balu Lammy, Balu Lalo. And now shall Mary's little boy forever be our hope and joy. Eternal be his reign here on earth. Rejoice then all people for this holy birth. Balu Lammy, Balu Lalo. Sleep gently, sweet Jesus, and know no fear. Thy subjects adoring watch over thee here. God's angels and shepherds, and kind in their stall, and wise men and virgin, thy guardians all. Balu Lammy, Balu Lalo. The Nativity story speaks of three important men from a far off land traveling to see the Christ child by following a bright star of wonder and beauty in the night. We call them the three kings or the three wise men. 
They were scholars, probably of the sciences, including astronomy and astrology. In a song called The Three Kings, Lawrence Hausman's touching lyrics center on the three travelers and their interaction with the innkeeper and Mary introducing them to the Christ child. Who knocks tonight so late, the weary porter said. Three kings stood at the gate, each with a crown on head. The serving man bowed down, the inn was full, he knew. Said he, in, this, in all this town is no fit place for you. A light in the manger lit, there lay the mother meek. This place is fit, here is the rest we seek. Come, come, they loosed their latchet strings, so stood they all unshod. Come in, come in, ye kings, and kiss the feet of God. The Advent season beautifully captures the paradox of already and not yet, and welcomes the tension, the tension between angst and comfort, yearning and satisfaction, and suffering and salvation. One of the Christmas songs that best captures the essence of the Advent, of the Advent season is O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Emmanuel means God with us. This beloved anthem's lyrics can be traced back to the medieval church. During the seven nights leading up to Christmas, the church would sing a verse of the song. Each of the verses starts with a prayer that begins with the phrase, O come, and includes an Old Testament reference for Jesus Christ, the Messiah. 
O come, O come, Emmanuel, and ransom captive Israel that mourns in lowly exile here until the Son of God appear. Israel needed rescue from captivity, and so do we. When we sing the first few words of this song, we can remember the depth of God's love for us by sending his son Jesus, God wrapped in flesh, to rescue us from our sins and ourselves. Christmas bell tidings cleverly blends two carols, Carol of the Bells and God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen. Carol of the Bells is based on a Ukrainian New Year's song written in 1916. It tells the story of a swallow flying into a household to sing of wealth that will come to the family in the spring. The English lyrics were written in 1936 by Peter Wilhowski. 
He centered around the theme of bells because the melody reminded him of handbells. God Rest Ye Merry Gentlemen is a traditional English carol. The phrase, Rest Ye Merry, was a common phrase back then, and it meant wishing someone to be of good cheer, be glad or joyful. God give you peace, comfort, or joy. Or in today's terms, have a good day, take care, or good luck. So God rest us merry. Let us be of good cheer and not dismay. Remember, remember Christ, our Savior, was born on Christmas Day to save us all from Satan's power when we have gone astray. These are indeed tidings of comfort and joy. It was Christmas Eve, 1818, when the now famous and beloved carol, Silent Night, was first performed by Joseph Mohr, a young Austrian priest who wrote the lyrics and played the guitar and sang along with Franz Gruber, who wrote the melody. The carol is about a calm and bright silent night and the wonder of a tender and mild newborn child. The lyrics were written in 1816, not long after the Napoleonic Wars had taken their toll on the young priest's village. The back story is that the priest went for a walk when he wrote it, and he looked out over a very quiet, winter-laden town. He was inspired. The town was at peace. Silent Night has been translated into at least 300 languages. The song's lilting melody and peaceful lyrics remind us of a universal sense of grace that transcends Christianity and unites people across cultures and faiths. Its gentle tune and soothing words touch the soul, it is a song that connects people and offers hope. Silent night, holy night, Son of God, love's pure light, radiant beams from thy holy face with the dawn of redeeming grace. Jesus, Lord at thy birth.
The night Jesus was born, God gave us three gifts. God gave us love, a profound, intense, divine love. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God gave us peace, eternal, never-ending, perfect peace. And suddenly there was with the angel a multitude of the heavenly host, praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest, and on earth, peace and goodwill toward men. God gave us joy, inexpressible, overwhelming, genuine joy. Fear not, for behold, I bring you good tidings of great joy, which shall be to all people. Amidst the hectic flurry of activities this Christmas, take time to pause and reflect on these three gifts that God gave us the night Jesus was born.
It is said that Joy to the World, one of our most well-known Christmas carols, is not a Christmas carol at all. The song is so familiar and its words are so well known that you may not have noticed that the song doesn't include a single detail about the nativity story. No stable, no shepherds, no wise men, no Mary or Joseph, no Bethlehem, or angels singing. When Isaac Watts wrote Joy to the World, he wasn't thinking of Christmas. He was reflecting on Psalm 98. It seems to be more about Christ's second coming, about him walking and ruling the earth. It is a song about triumph over evil and eternity of peace. However, if you really think about it, Joy to the World is quite a grand carol for Christmas. It gives us hope as we wait for the fulfillment of the kingdom that Christ has initiated and will bring in full. What a promise. May we joyously sing and celebrate the promise that Christ's first coming represents while we anxiously await his second. Joy to the world, the Lord is come. Let earth receive her king. Let every heart prepare him room and heaven and nature sing. He rules the world with truth and grace and makes the nations prove that glories of his righteousness and wonders of his love. <laughs>